All right, I messed that up. I had this whole riff in mind. Yeah, it's gonna go. And I totally messed it up. It is uh August. Not it's not August. Get out of here. Stop saying it's August, you. It's September fifth, twenty eighteen, six fifty three p.m. in the afternoon, and it is. This is episode two hundred and fifteen. Come a long way, baby. Um, I did two cartoons today. I did this one first. And I think I started about one and I finished it a little bit after three. And I was like, wow, I did that pretty quick. That's weird. And um, this, so since it was like two hours, it took me about an hour to draw. Uh, and the timer said an hour and seven minutes. So today's video is seven minutes and 30 seconds. Um, but I had this other idea and I thought, you know, today's a good day for a bonus cartoon. So I'll do that. So I did the bonus cartoon shortly after this one. And I was really, really burnt out after that. And I thought, I'm going to go to sleep. And that was about um, close to 11 or something by that point. I don't know why it's so late. And uh, right then a friend called and wanted to go have lunch. She was driving through town because she doesn't live here. And so I said, yeah, let's go have lunch. And so by the time it was all said and done, I was able to go to sleep about 3 this afternoon. So I'm tired. I'm tired. I actually experimented with something with this cartoon. It was a, a cut and paste. I just wanted to see if I could do it and how to do it. And I didn't like it, so I'm not going to do it again. But I did it with uh, just one word. It was Bob. Bob up near the top. And I didn't record me doing it because I, didn't, I thought I might be screwing with it. So actually, the cartoon took a little bit longer than an hour and a half. So I liked my lettering so much. I didn't want to redo it, but I wanted to get the, the quote exactly right. Um, if you'll see at the beginning, I had I had a different I let I let uh lots of out lots of so you heard about this Bob Woodward book which pretty much says everything that every other book says except Bob Woodward has credibility he's written about every administration and it's kind of funny because he tried to interview Trump and then Trump's sitting there on the phone with him lying to him and it's very similar to the phone call where he's lying to Omarosa and it's a tape recording and Woodward tells him, you know, I'm taping this. And, uh, and Trump's like, well, gee, I really wanted to talk to you, but nobody talked to me. Uh, it's like, uh, Kelly Ann's here, and uh, Kelly Ann, no, no, nobody talked to me. Nobody told me. And he's like, who did you talk to? And he's like, well, one of the people I talked to is Kelly Ann. <laughs> and he's on the phone, well, why didn't you talk to some other people, too, to try to get to him? Like, I, I did. I talked to like five other people and you. And Trump's complaining, well, nobody told me. Nobody tells me anything. Um, but Kelly Ann's right there on the phone. Well, why didn't you tell me? I mean, why didn't you talk to someone else other than me? <laughs> Trying to find everywhere in the world to blame it on Woodward for not interviewing Trump for, for this book. And this is right when the book's about to come out when they're complaining, when they're calling, talking to him on the phone. And Trump's like, well, why didn't you ask, ask me directly? Yeah, Bob, just scale that White House fence and go up and ask Trump directly. I mean, if you got the, the contact number for six people in the White House, I mean, that's still just not good enough, you know? But one of the funniest things is that uh, Trump's former lawyer, while he was still Trump's lawyer, gave him a practice session of uh, testifying for Mueller, and Trump was like, I'll be a terrific witness. And he's like, no, you're going to be a terrible witness. And then he goes up to Mueller, uh, John Dowd, his lawyer, and it's like, we can't have Trump testify. <laughs> Basically, the lawyer telling the prosecution that my client is way, uh, he, uh, he'll look like an idiot is his excuse. And the whole world would not want to do business with us because he, he'll look like a dumbbell. I think that's the word he used. And uh, But basically what he's saying is, is like, look, my client's guilty as fuck. <laughs> he's going to commit perjury. But he also told Trump that if you testify, you, you end up wearing an orange jumpsuit. I wrote my blog, we should give that theory a ride. But the White House, another interesting detail from the book is that people from the White House are sneaking papers off his desk so he won't sign them. So like, you know, we don't declare war on like Nambia, Namibia, Namibia, Narnia. But he also wanted to hit on uh, Bashar al-Assad of Syria. I just said that name without looking at it, people. I just, I'm just that, I just, damn good. 
Um, and uh, which, by the way, is illegal. A president cannot order a hit on anybody, even another leader. I mean, we can bomb someplace and say, well, if that kills a leader, oh well. But he cannot order a hit on anyone. It is illegal. So this is like the second instance of Trump ordering someone else to do a crime. But apparently he told uh, Defense Secretary Mattis, and Mattis was like, yes, sir, we'll get right out. I hung up the phone because we're not getting on it. Um, but the other news from the book, which is what was in other books, is that a lot of people called Trump an idiot behind his back. And all these people that called him an idiot in the book have come out and said, I did not call him an idiot, and pretty much verifying everything else in the book. So Trump now is the American president with most denials from his staff that they ever called him an idiot. So congratulations. Are fucking moron. So, sorry for the language today, folks, but I am quoting. So it's in context. If they can put the F word in the Washington Post, we can say it here. This is a Trump era, folks. Teach your kids the F words. Teach your kids the curse words. Because they're going to inherit this world when they get it. They're all going to go, fuck. <laughs> Alright, sorry about all that. Oh, we got like a minute left, and I didn't do any shout-outs, but you know what? Next video might be another minute longer, so we'll, uh, we'll cover the shout-outs to both of these. And I'm going to do the next video about an hour, so these are going to be kind of back-to-back, because -back, I want to get them both out of my life. I want to move on with my stuff, and um, yeah. As you can see here, I didn't like Nixon's nose. Last time I drew Nixon's nose, I uh, it kind of came out looking like a big penis. And... Um, and this and that was totally an accident. It wasn't what I was going for. But I didn't really want to do it intentionally, so I thought if I just copy that, then I'm gonna intentionally try to make it look like a penis. So I didn't go for that. Here's your cartoon today, folks. I will do the shout outs in the next video for the last one and this one. If there's any for this one by that point. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. 215. 216 is on the way. And uh, leave us a comment. And you know, a lot of people have been telling me that they're watching these things, but they're not subscribing. Please, 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 if you like me. If you want to help me, subscribe to the channel. We need subscriptions. I'll see you all soon. Uh, I'm going to say bye now. I'm going to say bye now. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.